Patrick Air Force Base IATA, COF, ICAO, KCOF, FAA LID, COF is a United States Air Force installation located between Satellite Beach and Cocoa Beach, in Brevard County, Florida, in the United States. It was named in honor of Major General Mason Patrick, USAAC. An Air Force Space Command AFSPC base, it is home to the 45th Space Wing 45SW. In addition to its host wing, Responsibilities at Patrick AFB, the 45SW controls and operates Cape Canaveral Air Force Station CCAFS and the Eastern Range. It was originally opened and operated from 1940 to 1947 as Naval Air Station Banana River, a U.S. Navy airfield. It was then deactivated as a naval installation in 1947 and placed in caretaker status until it was transferred to the Air Force in late 1948. Additional tenant activities at Patrick AFB include the 920th Rescue Wing, the Air Force Technical Applications Center and the Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute Total employment is 10,400. There are 13,099 military, dependents, civilian employees and contractors on base. The base is a census-designated place CDP and had a resident population of 1,222 at the 2010 census. The base also administers the Malabar Annex, located in Palm Bay. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current operations. The host wing for Patrick AFB is the 45th Space Wing 45SW, whose airmen manage all launches of uncrewed rockets at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station 12 miles to the north. These rockets include satellites for the U.S. military, to include the National Reconnaissance Office and the National Security Agency as well as scientific payload launches in support of NASA, weather satellite launches in support of NOAA, payloads in support of international customers such as the European Space Agency, and commercial payloads for various corporate communications entities. Units and individuals from the 45SW have deployed abroad during wartime, most notably during operations Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom. Air Force Technical Applications Center AFTAC is a tenant command headquartered at Patrick AFB. Previously an activity of the Air Force Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance Agency AFISRA, AFTAC is now a subordinate unit of 25th Air Force 25AF and the Air Combat Command ACC. AFTAC is the sole Department of Defense agency operating and maintaining a global network of nuclear event detection sensors. The 920th Rescue Wing 920 RQW, part of Air Force Reserve Command AFRC, is another tenant command headquartered at Patrick AFB and is the installation's only military flying unit. An Air Combat Command ACC gained Combat Search and Rescue CSAR organization. The 920 RQW is the only rescue wing in the Air Force Reserve, operating the HC 130P, N. King variant of the C 130 Hercules and HH 60G Pave Hawk helicopter, ready for worldwide deployment. In addition to its CSAR mission, the wing also participates in civilian rescue operations, ranging from rescue support for NASA crewed spaceflight operations, to augmentative support to U.S. Coast Guard Search and Rescue operations, to defense support to civil authorities in the wake of major disasters. Most notable is the 920S role in crewed spaceflight support to NASA, providing Eastern Range monitoring and having provided search and rescue support for Space Shuttle launches originating from Kennedy Space Center KSC. Additional operations have included searching the Caribbean for downed aircraft, as well as retrieving critically ill sailors and passengers from ships hundreds of miles out in the Atlantic, often at night and or in bad weather. Because the USAF HH-60 can refuel in flight from the USAF HC-130, MC-130, or USMC KC-130, it possesses a much greater range and mission radius versus similar military helicopters lacking such capability. The 920 RQW is a full participant in the Air Force's Air and Space Expeditionary Task Force AEF operating concept. Under this concept, the bulk of the wing deployed to Iraq in 2003 in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Subsequent AEF deployments have included Djibouti and Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Adjacent to the 920 RQW's facilities is the NASA Flight Operations Facility, which provides support for NASA's permanently based UH 1H helicopters supporting KSC and transient NASA fixed wing aircraft such as the T 38 Talon. 
The U.S. State Department's Bureau for International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs Air Wing helps foreign countries combat drugs and narcotics criminals. The Bureau operates a fleet of aircraft, primarily former USAF and USMC OV-10 and former USAF C-27 aircraft at Patrick AFB to help detect and interdict the drug trade in Bolivia, Colombia, Peru and Afghanistan. History <laughs> Naval use in World War II Authorized by the Naval Expansion Act of 1938, Naval Air Station Banana River was commissioned on 1 October 1940 as a subordinate base of the Naval Air Operational Training Command at NAS Jacksonville, Florida. The Navy bought 1,900 acres 770 hectares of scrub land south of Cocoa Beach. With the advent of war with Japan and Germany in December 1941, the Navy began anti submarine patrols along the Florida coast using PBY Catalina and PBM Mariner seaplanes based at this facility. PBMs returned to training duty in March 1942 when replaced on patrol by OS 2U Kingfisher seaplanes. Landing strips were constructed in 1943, thereby allowing for concurrent operation of shore-based aircraft. Officers of the Free French Naval Air Service also trained in PBMs at Nas Banana River at this time. Various military-related activities took place at Nas Banana River, including maritime patrol aviation operations against German U-boats, air search and rescue operations, patrol bomber bombardier training, seaplane pilot training, and communications research. Other activities included a blimp squadron detachment, an aviation navigation training school, and an experimental training unit termed Project Baker, a confidential program that developed and tested instrument landing equipment. NAS Banana River hosted a major aircraft repair and maintenance facility. Later in the war, a small detachment of German POWs from Camp Blanding worked at NAS Banana River on cleanup details. At its peak, the base complement included 278 aircraft, 587 civilian employees, and over 2,800 officers and enlisted personnel. Topic: <laughs> Flight 19 probe. Three months after World War II, on the 5th of December 1945, Nas Banana River had an ancillary role in the disappearance of Flight 19, a formation of five TBM Avenger torpedo bombers, which had departed Nas Fort Lauderdale, Florida, on a routine over-water training mission. When the flight failed to return to home station, a search and rescue operation was undertaken by multiple air and naval units. After sunset on 5 December, two PBM Mariner seaplanes from Nas Banana River, originally scheduled for their own training flights were diverted to perform square pattern searches in the area west of 29 degrees north 79 degrees with 29, minus 79. One of these aircraft, a PBM-5, Bureau No. 59225, took off at 19.27 Eastern Time from Nas Banana River, called in a routine radio message at 19.30 Eastern Time, and was never heard from again. At 19.50 Eastern Time, the tanker SS Gaines Mills reported seeing a mid-air explosion, then flames leaping 100 feet 30 meters high and burning on the sea for 10 minutes. The position was 28 degrees 35, 80 degrees 15 W, 28.59, minus 80.25. Captain Shauna Stanley of the SS Gaines Mills reported searching for survivors through a pool of oil, but found none. The escort carrier USS Solomons reported losing radar contact with an aircraft at the same position and time. No wreckage of PBM 5 Buno 59225 was ever found. During investigation by a board of inquiry regarding the entire Flight 19 incident, attention was given to the loss of the Nas Banana River based PBM. Several witnesses from both Nas Banana River and other PBM Mariner operating locations were questioned concerning occurrences of aviation gasoline Avgas fumes collecting in the bilges of PBM series aircraft and associated no smoking regulations, which were reportedly well posted and rigidly enforced aboard all PBMs. Although the board's report is not a verbatim record and no accusations were made, there seems to be enough inference present to cause one to suspect that the board was aware of the PBM's nickname as the Flying Gas Tank. As such, it is possible that the PBM-5 was destroyed by an explosion resulting from either a, an aircrewman violating the no-smoking regulations in the aircraft or b, a stray electrical spark in the lower aircraft hull that may have ignited Avgas fumes in the bilges. Transition 
Nas Banana River closed in September 1947 after a gradual deactivation and was placed in a caretaker status. In September 1948 the facility was transferred to the U.S. Air Force. Several of Nas Banana River's original structures, including runway segments, certain hangars, support buildings, seaplane parking areas and seaplane ramps into the Banana River remain part of modern-day Patrick Air Force Base. United States Air Force use Nas Banana River was transferred to the United States Air Force on 1 September 1948 and renamed the Joint Long Range Proving Ground on 10 June 1949. The installation was renamed Patrick Air Force Base in August 1950. From 1966 to 1975, the Space Coast was the second most visited spot by VIPs, after Washington, D.C., a result of the space program. A protocol officer was assigned to Patrick to coordinate these visits, about three weekly consisting of 10 to 150 people. In 1971, the Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute was established at Patrick AFB. Five of the victims of the Cobra Towers bombing in 1996 were home stationed at Patrick AFB as part of the 71st Rescue Squadron. The 71 RQS subsequently relocated to Moody AFB, Georgia in 1997. The 9-11 attacks prompted the Air Force to close the heavily used four-lane State Road A1A, which ran immediately in front of the AFTAC headquarters building. A1A was later reopened to two-lane traffic with car inspections, followed by two-lane traffic without inspections until a barrier was constructed in front of the building and the building reinforced with steel and concrete with the windows sealed. In February 2005, the Patrick AFB Officers Club was destroyed by an accidental fire. In 2010, the Air Force announced its intention to replace the existing AFTAC building Front State Road A1A with a new facility that would cost in the range from $100 to $200 million. At the time of this announcement, this constituted the largest single military construction project in the United States for the Air Force. Completed in 2014, the new facility is a 276,000 square feet (25,600 square meters) multi-story command and control building with a 38,000 square feet (3,500 square meters) radiochemistry laboratory, 18,000 square feet (1,700 square meters) central utility plant, and a 600 space (180,000 square feet) (17,000 square meters) parking garage located approximately a 0.25 miles (0.40 kilometers) west of the original AFTAC headquarters building, U.S. Navy Boeing E-6 Mercury aircraft, part of Operation Looking Glass, were sometimes seen at Patrick AFB during the 2010-11 time frame and were often mistaken by onlookers for the previously retired VC-137 presidential aircraft i.e., Air Force One, which looks similar. <laughs> <laughs> Operational history On 17 May 1950, the base was renamed the Long Range Proving Ground Base, but three months later was renamed Patrick Air Force Base in honor of Major General Mason Patrick. On 3 May 1951, the Long Range Proving Ground Division was assigned to the newly created Air Research and Development Command. The next month, the division was redesignated the Air Force Missile Test Center (AFMTC). Cost comparison studies done in the early 1950s pointed out the desirability of letting contractors operate the station. The first range contract was signed with Pan American World Services on the 31st of December 1953. The Air Force Missile Test Center began transferring property and equipment to Pan American World Services at the end of that year. Pan American operated under contract to the Air Force for the next 34 years until early October 1988. In 1988, the old range contract was divided into the Range Technical Services (RTS) and the Launch Base Services (Pounds) contracts. The RTS contract was awarded to Computer Sciences Raytheon (CSR) in June 1988, and the Pounds contract was awarded to Pan American World Services, later known as Johnson Controls, in August 1988. The Eastern Range supported a variety of missile and manned and unmanned space programs in the 1960s, making it a regular focus of media attention. In the 1960s, a test range office at Patrick AFB with a missile backdrop was used to film scenes for the TV sitcom, I Dream of Jeannie, which was set in nearby Cocoa Beach no cast was present. 
But by the mid-1970s, the demise of the Apollo manned space program and the end of land-based ballistic missile development at nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station signaled a downturn in fortunes, and on 1 February 1977, the Air Force Eastern Test Range organization was inactivated and its functions transferred to Detachment 1 of the Space and Missile Test Center until the activation of the Eastern Space and Missile Center in 1979 on 1 October 1979. In 1990, ESMC was transferred from the Inactivating Air Force Systems Command to the newly established Air Force Space Command on 12 November 1991 ESMC was inactivated and the 45th Space Wing 45 SW assumed its remaining functions. <laughs> <laughs> Aerospace Defense Command use In 1961, Patrick AFB began hosting a joint Federal Aviation Administration, Air Defense Command, later Aerospace Defense Command joint use radar site featuring an, an FPS-66 general surveillance radar set for air defense of the Patrick AFB, Cape Canaveral area. Designated site. Z211. FAAJ05, the 645th Radar Squadron was reactivated on 28 June 1962 to operate the radar, feeding data to Semi-Automatic Ground Environment SAGE Data Center DC-09 at Gunter AFB, Alabama. Aerospace Defense Command ADC operated the radar until 25 April 1976 when it was replaced by a detachment of the 20th Air Defense Squadron The USAF radar was removed around 1988. After its closure by the Air Force, the facility was turned over to the Federal Aviation Administration FAA. The former ADC site was replaced by a new site near Melbourne, Florida, as part of the Joint Surveillance System JSS, designated by NORAD as Southeast Air Defense Sector SEADS Ground Equipment Facility J5, with a new ARSR-4 radar. Topic: <laughs> Strategic Air Command use. The 9th Strategic Reconnaissance Wing of the Strategic Air Command established operating location Olympic Flame Olov, a new Lockheed U-2 aircraft operating location at Patrick AFB, Florida, on 29 January 1982. Olov was subsequently redesignated as 9SRW, Detachment 5 on 1 January 1983 and concentrated on reconnaissance operations to include Midas and HICAT over Central America and the Caribbean Basin, replacing an operational capability that had previously been resident at nearby McCoy AFB until that installation's closure in 1975. Detachment 5 was inactivated at Patrick AFB in 1992. Topic. Major commands assigned Air Proving Ground Command, 1 October 1949 Air Research and Development Command, 14 May 1951 Redesignated, Air Force Systems Command, 1 April 1961 Air Force Space Command, 1 October 1991 Present Topic major units assigned 2770th Standby Squadron, 20 November 1948 to 1 October 1949 Joint Long Range Proving Ground, of May 1949 Redesignated, Florida Missile Test Range, 30 June 1951 Redesignated, Atlantic Missile Range, 1 July 1958 Redesignated, Air Force Eastern Test Range, 1 July 1964 Redesignated, Eastern Range, 12 November 1991 Present Advance HQ Joint Long Range Proving Ground, 1 October 1949 to 15 August 1950 Redesignated, 4820th Air Base Squadron, 15 August 1950 to 4 September 1951 Air Force Eastern Test Range, 1 October 1949 to 1 February 1977 DET, One Space and Missile Test Center 1 February 1977 to 1 October 1979 Eastern Space and Missile Center 1 October 
October 1979 to 1 November 19,914,800, Guided Missiles Wing, 3 December 1950 redesignated, 6,555th Guided Missile Wing, 14 May 1951 redesignated, 6,555th Guided Missile Group, 1 March 1953 to 7 September 19542D Mobile Communications Group, 1 October 1975 redesignated, 2nd Combat Communications Group, Group, the 24th of March 1976 to the 30th of June 1990482D, later 6555th Guided Missile Squadron, the 10th of April 1951 to the 15th of August 1959, inactivated and reactivated as 6555th Guided Missile Group, the 15th of August 1959, redesignated 6555th Test Wing, the 21st of December 1959, redesignated 6555th Aerospace Test Wing, the 20. 5 October 1961 redesignated 6555th Aerospace Test Group the 1st of April 1970 to the 1st of October 19,904,800 Guided Missiles Wing the 3rd of December 1950 redesignated 6555th Guided Missile Wing the 14th of May 1951 redesignated 6555th Guided Missile Group the 1st of March 1953 to the 7th of September 1,954,500 50th Guided Missiles Wing, 11 to 29 December 1954 802D, later 6555th Guided Missile Squadron, the 10th of April 1951 to the 15th of August 1959, inactivated and reactivated as 6555th Guided Missile Group, the 15th of August 1959, redesignated 6555th Test Wing, the 21st of December 1959, redesignated 6555th Aerospace Test Wing, the 25th of October 1961 redesignated 6555th Aerospace Test Group the 1st of April 1970 to the 1st of October 19,906,550th Air Base Wing the 4th of September 1951 to the 1st of March 1953 redesignated 6555th Air Base Group the 1st of March 1953 to the 1st of October 1990 redesignated 1040th Space Support Group the 1st of October 1990 to the 12th of November 1991 redesignated 45th support group the 12th of November 1991 present Air Force Eastern Test Range the 1st of October 1949 to the 1st of February 1977 debt one space and missile test center SAMTEC the 1st of February 1977 to the 1st of October 1979 Eastern Space and Missile Center ESMC the 1st of October 1979 to the 1st of November 19,916,541st Missile Test Wing the 4th of September 1951 to the 7th of September 1954 45th Space Wing on the 12th of November 1991 present 45th Support Group became subordinate of Wing Eastern Space and Missile Center became subordinate of Wing 920th Rescue Wing, the 15th of April 1997, present established as 920th Rescue Group. The 15th of April 1997, redesignated 920th Rescue Wing. The 1st of April 2003114 Space Control Squadron, Florida Air National Guard. The 20th of May 1989, present reference for history summation. Major commands assigned and major units assigned. Topic: <laughs> Buildings. The base has the Space Coast Inn for visiting personnel, dormitories for permanent party single enlisted personnel, quarters for families in three separate housing areas, recreational housing on the beach, beach access, combined offices and enlisted clubs, commissary, a large AAFES base exchange BX, library and numerous morale, welfare and recreation MWR facilities. Facilities are used by 4,000 military men and women, 11,500 civilian workers, contractors and dependents, 43,000 military retirees, and 82,000 members of retirees' families. There are several chapels, including Chapel 1, Chapel 2, South Chapel at the South Housing Area, and Seaside Chapel, Building 440. There is a 45th Space Wing Chapel, which travels with the wing when it is deployed. The Catholic group is called Street George Parish and meets in Chapel 1 or 2. While the buildings are owned by the Air Force, the Catholic parish is under the spiritual direction of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese for the Military Services, USA. 
In 2009, base housing was privatized and in addition to active duty personnel and their families, also became available for lease by members of the Reserve and Guard, military retirees, Department of Defense civil service employees and DOD contractors. In 2010, the construction of a new 74,000 square feet, 6,900 square meters medical clinic was started. It is expected to cost $18.5 million. Topic: Media. The missile was published by the Base Weekly until the 28th of September 2012. It was discontinued due to defense budget cutbacks as a result of sequestration. A local paper, Florida Today, publishes the Shark Pride Weekly as a replacement for the former publication. Topic: Surrounding areas. Atlantic Ocean Banana River Cocoa Beach Lotus Merritt Island South Patrick Shores Topic Access Patrick Air Force Base lies on a barrier island and is primarily accessed from the mainland by the Panetta Causeway, State Road 404 in Satellite Beach or State Road A1A which runs the entire length of Patrick AFB. Topic: Infrastructure. Topic: Water. The base obtains potable water from the city of Coco. A single potable water line from Coco runs under the Sykes Creek Bridge at Sea Ray Drive. See also Department of Defense Manned Space Flight Support Office Joint Functional Component Command for Space and Global Strike Naval Air Station Original Melbourne Village Hall